Yo, 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 what is going on, Amiibo Army? We back with another video. Well, this is kind of combined with a diff another video, but uh, separating them into uh, multiple. So, uh, this video, obviously, probably titled My Amiibo versus Yours. So, uh, this should be fun. This should be good. Um, yeah, I kind of just woke up, like, probably 10 minutes ago. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little... A little out of it now, so uh, well, hopefully my amiibo aren't out of it. And hopefully, okay, maybe, maybe they will be. We got Pink Death Yoshi from Zack. Uh, I've heard some good things about this thing. Fought it once myself, but I always hate fate. fate uh, little, 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 uh, words. English is hard in the morning, okay? But uh, I've fought this thing before, and it it's beaten my butt personally. But then again, every Yoshi amiibo that I face beats my butt. Maybe it's just because I'm not good at facing Yoshi amiibo. That's on me, though. So that's why we had to throw in my own amiibo here. That's why I threw Terry in here. Um, yeah, I wish I had a more competitive Terry than Instadrop Terry because, again, Raid Boss amiibo versus competitive amiibo, it's a whole different animal. All right, Terry. You're, this is not is not a great leadoff hitter. I need you to at least get finish one stock, at least. Finish the one stock. You can help me out here, buddy. You can help me out here. Right? If, if I put a title of video, my raid or my amiibo versus your amiibo, I would hope that at least I get some wins, right? I can hope. Come on. Okay. Okay. We're not going to win this one, but, you know, we it, it's not how you start. It's how you finish, right? So this is only the beginning. We're just waking up now, and uh, we should be good. So, hey, I, I mean, comeback, sure, they're possible. I ne never count out anybody, but... Um, now nah, this this Yoshi's just really good. Oh, the footstool! Okay, but yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Never count out anybody. But then again, Terry's at 130%. And Yoshi still has that tail, which I still don't know how it's that strong. Pichu the little football. So, <laughs> and I'm throwing in Douglas J, my Captain Falcon. So I asked, uh, I asked Bro Bama in chat why did he nickname his Pichu uh, <laughs> football. That is the best response. Either it gets punted or you get punted. I like it. That that I like that. It, the Pichu is like the size of a football, after all, right? Like, look how tiny that thing is. But don't don't confuse Pichu being small for being weak. If you know anything about Pichu, Pichu's powerful. Pichu's got some great attack. Down air on Pichu is so good. Is so good. And Pichu's got great recovery. Not to not to mention. Pichu's uh, uh, spirit is about to activate here. We've seen, I've seen, ooh, the down air spike. Oh, that's so good. But here's P Pichu's, uh, there it is. Yep, got critical health healing up by two, which means he gets to heal 100% damage for one stock. But the good thing is that spirit is no longer usable for the rest of the match because it is only a one time effect. So at least that's good for Douglas J, but it's, it essentially resets Pichu to the point where Pichu now had four lives instead of three. So, Douglas J, you got some work ahead of you, but at least you evened it up. Oh, what was that? What was that? I thought Pichu was going to get the better of that exchange. Luckily, he didn't. You know, well, I mean, luckily for my Douglas J, I should say. So, that's good. He got one. He got, well, I mean, he's got two now. Well, kind of three because of the, the spirit, but... He's got the lead for now, but he's literally one attack away from getting KO'd. Pichu, like I said, watch out for that down air. Get away for the ledge, Falcon. Yes, just get back on stage. Get to the middle so that down air can't spike, and we'll be we'll be good. Okay, we'll be good. I'm 0 for 1 today. I'm hoping Douglas J can at least get uh, can at least get me my first victory. Get me on the board. By the way, this Pichu. If I haven't said this already, I'm splitting this video into two different videos. My rig boss or my amiibo versus yours, and yours versus yours is a different one. And I'm on the board at least. Oh, Douglas J's got some more work cut out for him. Got some more work cut out for him, but I think he's up to it. We got to face Green Gorilla. Oh boy, Mr. D Why do I call you Mr. Doctor? No, Doc 11 has joined the arena and he's throwing in the big, the big ape. He's throwing him in here. We're gonna have, oh boy. Yep, we're, we're gonna have our work cut out for you. Yep. Oh boy, oh my goodness, this monkey's going to hit hard because that's just what he does, right? DK Amiibos are so, they're, they're, they're fun to watch. 
they're fun to watch, right? They have so many different ways to spike you off stage. <clears throat> they got so many power moves. The recovery is not the greatest, but oh, the knee of justice! Justice has been served. Oh, it gets the down air too. Oh, okay. So look, I say this a lot. I don't care when it's amiibo versus amiibo. I don't care who does it. When there's a down air spike for a KO. Oh, that is so satisfying to watch. That is one of my absolute favorite things in Smash Bros. Just seeing somebody go from... I think I'm safe to all of a sudden one move and oh, I'm flying straight through the center of the earth. I am done. That You know, it, it's so fun to watch. It's it's such a great feeling. And especially if you can, you know, do it yourself, then it's even better. But like when you just get to watch it, I don't know. There's just something so sweet about it. There's just something so sweet about it. So maybe we can... Uh-oh, DK's trying to climb the ladder. DK's trying to climb the ladder. Uh oh he's going to hit him with the up smash. Yep, classic DK right there. Nicely done. We breaking out the professor. We got to take on Jose, though. Very formidable opponent. Very formidable. We'll see if the uh, the professor's got any uh, any plans left that he hasn't taught. Maybe he's gonna throw out a pop quiz here on Zelda. Be like, surprise! I didn't teach you this one. You're gonna fail this match. Or maybe Zelda is just an A plus student. And maybe Zelda is the one that's gonna teach Byleth a thing or two. Like, I think if I had to say. If I had to rank all my uh, amiibo based on competitive wise, um, uh, oh boy, uh, I'll say Byleth is probably up in the the top five percent for competitive wise because that's the more that's the style I trained him. I didn't go for serious raid boss tone when I was training my Byleth, but uh, I still feel that he worked out well as an as a raid boss. And he works out very well as a uh, as a just a competitive amiibo as well. Something I have always wanted to do is get a little bit more involved with competitive amiibo. I think it would be fun. I just never have the time because of my work schedule. Like when they have tournaments going on during the week, I'm always at work. I don't get off work until like 11:30 every night. So yeah, usually there's no tournaments at midnight. At least not that I've been saying. Wow, the professor's going crazy right now. This lesson plan that he prepared today, he's doing some work, man. Doing some work. He absolutely, he, 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 he trained. He planned for this. He knows what he's doing. Woo, big side special. That move is so good on him. For an, oh, and he goes for the up special. Oh, if he could have caught that off stage, that would have been a perfect way to end it. I would have loved that. But like that side special on Byleth, combined with air attacks, like Byleth is just very solid. That's the best way to put it. Ooh, Byleth Ditto, Byleth Mirror Match, we shall say. Uh, slow super armor, huh? Jeece really likes only using the, uh, the, the big five spirits. He threw Ganondorf in here earlier with, um, with Armor Knight, and now he's going with slow super armor? Um, okay, hey, hey, it, it's, it's allowed. I ain't compl like, hey, I'm not complaining about it. I just think there's a lot of other spirits that work very well oh yes nice i just think there's a lot of other spirits that work very well with byleth and with every other character the point is i don't think you need to rely on the big five for every spear uh for every amiibo well that was unfortunate yep there's there's a big weakness of byleth get him a little too far off stage and he's not gonna <laughs> even with that long tether grab he, he ain't getting don't even ah there's no point. You weren't going to hit it. And even if he was going to recover, which he did, there's nothing you were going to do about it. Just let him just let him come back on stage and then follow it up from there. Right? Then hit him with one of your side specials. Then hit him with one of your, uh, I don't know, air attacks, which he did to finish the stock, which I'm happy with. Look, look at that. It's such a good move. And that's the thing with the Byleth Amiibo. They, they uh, space it out very well where they'll hit the critical hit point. The critical hit point? The critical spot. They will hit the... Uh, they'll. They know exactly where and when to use the move. I guess that's the, what I'm trying to say here. So Amiibo are very smart when it comes to certain moves. So if you train them in a specific way to use specific moves, like Byleth's side special, they will understand the move way better. And it's just, it's, well, way better in the end. All right. Looks like this is going to be my last match. 
because I actually have a tournament to get to uh, later today. Or, well, in the past, because this is coming out way after we recorded this. But we got ourselves King Sexy. Had to throw him in the arena. And nice little up tilt juggle right there. But we got ourselves, it looks like it's a King K rule with uh, Armor Knight. And the reason you can tell is because his attacks, or his defense, sorry, when he gets attacked, it doesn't deal as much damage. And the, the, the big thing is you can tell when he's running. Because uh, Armor Knight, if you don't know, it slightly increases your attack. Greatly, oh, nice downer spike. But greatly increases defense and then lowers your speed. And you can just tell, by the way, King K rule runs that he's a little bit slower than usual. So we have an Armor Knight. King K rule as our final opponent. Will King Sexy provide enough sexiness to overcome this? Or does K rule just not care about looking good and he just cares about killing and KOing and eating and stealing bananas? And I don't know what K rule does a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, King Sexy, he's got, he's got his work cut out for him. But that doesn't mean he can't do it. He can do it for sure. Oh, I love that he goes for that. How does he get around the propeller all the time? Oh, and he makes it back to the stage just, just fine. That's good. So we got two characters with King in their name, but yet only one wears the crown. Oh, I guess that crown is mine now. <laughs> 